Hey guys, this is Airsoft Steve, and today we have another video. Um, this one is a review of King Arms 120 round M4 style mid caps. Um, these cost about the five pack cost about thirty five dollars off of Airsoft GI. There will be a link in the description to the five and ten pack, I believe. Um, the ten pack is like sixty three dollars. Don't have, hold me against that, but I think that's around the price. Um, when you get them, they'll come like this. It comes in this kind of mag. It says King Arms and other stuff. There's actually some like grammar mistakes on here so you can tell it's kind of an Asian country probably. I think they're from Taiwan I believe or no they're made in Hong Kong. Um, so the grammar isn't the best but I mean what do you expect. Um, and then there will be your five mags. They're a little dirty right now. Mine are because I use them pretty frequently and I forgot to clean them for this video. Um, but you'll have your mags and there'll be little cardboard inserts between them um, to keep them uh, not scratching against each other when they're shipping and everything. Um, build wise, they're completely plastic. Um, it's not like a cheap plastic, they feel pretty sturdy. Um, completely black. Um, I can show you kind of a close up here, hopefully. Um, yeah, just looks like a standard M4 mag, nothing special about it. Um, it does fit most M4s. Well, actually, every M4 I've tried it fits in. So here's a combat machine, for example. It's perfectly fine with the combat machine, a little bit of wobble, wobble but I mean, what mag doesn't have wobble? And then here's a JG base, and it fits actually no wobble in this gun. And then I have my gun, which is a FMG4, and they fit perfectly. So yeah, these will basically fit any M4 you have um, without any problem. I've never, I've never seen one that seen any M4 that these don't fit, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, to load them, it's like any other M4 mag. Um, take a speed loader, um, you can have like a 500 round speed loader, this is just 100 rounds. Um, or you can get like one of those Elite Force ones where you actually like pump it, those things are really nice, I'm getting one soon, so hopefully there'll be a review of that. Um, but to put it in, to load it, I can show you here, hopefully. Uh, just put your speed loader like that and push down, well, maybe I should watch it, but yeah. Simple, like every other mid cap. Um, you don't well, guys, my camera just fell, so uh, I get back to loading it. Um, if you are used to high caps, it may be kind of annoying to have to load it after every time you use it instead of just winding. But uh, personally, I like using mid caps more because it's more realistic. You actually have to reload instead of just having like 400 rounds just in one mag, so this is 100 rounds, um, so you have to constantly, you don't have to constantly, you just have to reload every so often when you run out. Um, feeding wise, they are decent if you keep them lubricated. Um, there are issues, if you do load it to its maximum capacity of 120 rounds, it does have a lot of issues with feeding. Um, it may start like double feeding, uh, which is when it sticks more than one BB into your hop up at a time, so you're going to start shooting more than one BB, and that's kind of not good. Um, or it just doesn't feed at all, so definitely my recommendation is to load maybe just 100 rounds into it, or maybe even 80, um, because if you load too many, like here, I haven't even loaded 100 in, but it's already having, it's already really stiff, um, so definitely don't fill it all the way, or these things will not feed, um, not the strongest springs, um, and that's what you get, I mean, you paid a pretty low price for these things, um, so you don't get the best feeding, but they do feed, they keep up with, um, uh, kind of high rate of fire guns. I've never tested it above 20, but um, my FMG4 shoots 18, and it beats fine on full auto, um, and on semi-auto, unless you over overfill it, obviously. And we'll do a shooting test later. Um, these things are, if I said before, they are pretty durable. Um, I mean, I've like, for an example here, I've been like shooting, and then had to reload, so you just kind of fling it off and put another one in. And it's not like they took any damage. I don't think these things are even really that scratched. Um, the worst of that's on them is just a little bit of dirt on them, so they can just be cleaned. Um, but what I said before, if you keep them lubricated, they feed fine. So definitely keep them lubricated, get a little silicone oil. Um, I can try to show you without it, but uh, take like the take the silicone oil and just make sure you squirt it like below into the spring area. So like, uh, I can show you here. So right here, that's where the BBs will feed up into your gun top up. If you just stick the little, uh, whatever it is, the straw of the silicone oil into there and uh, squirt some in there. Um, don't put too much in, but uh, definitely keep it nice and oiled, and that'll keep it feeding well. 
Um, but yeah, so it's pretty decent if you just want to try mid caps, and that's why I got these. I'm actually gonna get some Elite Force mid caps along with the Elite Force speed loader. Um, people say Elite Force mid caps are probably like the best beginner mid caps. Um, there's like other ones. All right, guys, so I don't play outside, and uh, I have my FMG4 with me. This thing shoot is shooting about 18 RPS. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, and that's on a nickel metal high, 9.6 nickel metal high drive battery. And uh, we have our mid cap here, about 80 or 90 rounds in it, um, so that it doesn't have too many issues with like double feeding and stuff. If you notice, I have my helmet on with the contour room too, so hopefully we can get some like first person kind of shots with this. Um, so let's try it out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna shoot 10 rounds on semi-auto, and uh, we'll count how many times it shoots around or if it doesn't feed, um, and then we'll just dump the rest on full auto, right? So here we go, I'm gonna start recording on this thing. So, put it into semi, we're gonna shoot 10 rounds, you ready? Rounds, you ready? All right, so if I had all 10 rounds on semi, I'm gonna shoot like five more for good measure, so 15 rounds on semi. All right, if I had all 15 rounds on semi, so let's go to auto. Alright, that mag fed flawlessly and there's about three more left in there um, that won't feed. Um, that's just with every time. Uh, yeah, you'll just have three left. So yeah, that was actually some flawless feeding. Um, so yeah guys, if you fill it like 80 or 90 rounds, it will feed perfectly, um, no issues. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for a good beginner mid cap that's really cheap, definitely recommend the King Arms mid cap, um, about $30, links in the description. Um, I'll see you in the next video.